I feel like the the nation, the world hasn't learned their lesson from the last few years. But I, I you know, I'm thankful that I'm here in Texas getting uh, uh, just the announcements recently or a couple days ago that we will not uh, be affected by any sort of mandates, masking, you know, mandates for especially for uh, the vaccine. And now we're seeing it in other parts of this country. Why haven't they learned their lesson at all? Zero. Well, well, listen, I I think it's really important that the American people follow the advice of the White House and the government agencies like the CDC and the FDA. We should stop thinking for ourselves and we need to just follow the healthcare experts and do exactly what they tell us to do. Yeah. And that includes putting our mask on, social distancing. And we should stop going to church because singing and gathering like that can be very dangerous. For all of our listeners, he's being facetious. Sounds like Thanksgiving is being uh, <laughs> turned off. Yeah, all oh, that turkey geez. and stuff isn't isn't good for you. Listen, you know what what I've talked about recently is we need to remember very carefully the issue is never the issue. The issue is about the revolution. That's a quote from James Lindsay. So as soon as we start getting into an argument about whether vaccines are good or not good, whether masks work or they don't work. We We've lost the argument. This has nothing to do with science. This has everything to do with dollars. So President Biden said recently that he's authorizing funding for a new COVID vaccine and that he is likely going to recommend it for every American. This has nothing to do with science or COVID. Remember that all the manufacturers of these vaccines are immune from liability. They have no risk. They only have upside. There's been something like 20 new billionaires made in the vaccine industry as a result of COVID. So this is about dollars. This is about when we talk about masking, the loss of individual liberty. Uh, it's about government control and dehumanization. It's never about the science. When we argue the science, we've lost the argument. Listen, it's not my opinion either, by the way, about masking. The New England Journal of Medicine told us this back in May of 2020, and I'm quoting, quote, we know that wearing masks outside healthcare facilities offer little, if any, protection from infection. And the Journal of the American Medical Association said something similar, and I'm quoting, quote, there is no evidence to suggest that face masks worn by healthy individuals are effective at preventing people from becoming ill, close quote. Not Barkey's opinion, this is science. We've known about this forever. These face masks and uh, homemade masks offer no protection against either getting infected or spreading infection from a respiratory viral illness. Again, the issue is never the issue here.